In this presentation, we'll be looking at the relationships in a series RC circuit and what happens when something changes. Easiest item to change is going to be frequency. You'll be asked the questions, what will happen when the frequency goes up, what will happen when the frequency goes down. We'll be looking at what happens when we increase the frequency in a series RC circuit and taking a look at the inverse relationship for your capacitive reactance formula. If frequency goes up because it's an inverse relationship, then the capacitive reactance has to go down. So when we change an opposition to current flow, and that's also going to affect current flow, looking at the reactive side of a triangle, if the frequency goes up, then the capacitive reactance is going to decrease and it's going to change our values there. So if we look at the relationship of what happened to capacitive reactance and look at the new drawing of the triangle, if x of c went down, then z also, or your impedance, also had to go down. Once again, resistance remains unchanged. Nothing was changed in the resistance because frequency has no effect on it. If capacitive reactance and impedance, both oppositions to current flow, decrease, then the overall current flow would have to increase. Those are an inverse relationship, both opposition to current flow and current flow. The other relationships to take a look at are power factor and angle theta. Once again, those two are also an inverse relationship. So looking at the new triangle, we have changed angle theta. So angle theta has gone down. That means that our power factor has increased. It has become better.